There are two groups of people whose lives are much fuller when they anticipate. These are gamblers and golfers. <laughs> That's when life's the best for them. Uh, I am a golfer, and that is a Scottish word, and it means asshole. <laughs> if you're a golfer here this evening and you don't know that you're an asshole, put on the crown. Tonight, you're the king. <laughs> there is, I promise you, no greater group of idiots collectively than golfers. If you are not a golfer, realize if you're ever having an argument with a golfer, you actually know more than the golfer. Because I will, your IQ is at least 30 points higher because the golfer has taken a portion of his mind and flushed it down the toilet. <laughs> it's unbelievable. You're probably lucky if you don't play golf. You probably had a moment of lucidity when you thought, maybe I should play this game. And then you looked out the window and there was your neighbor carrying a set of clubs to the car, wearing lime green pants. <laughs> because golfers are colorblind. <laughs> and you thought, wow. There goes a douchebag. <laughs> all golfers, when they begin to play the game, uh, are all really equal. Uh, their skill level is um, more than shitty. <laughs> and then, about 10 years after playing the game, oh, happy day, they become shitty. And then one day they wake up and in those three hours before they go to the golf course, the best three hours that a golfer has, when they're anticipating just how great a day it's gonna be, it's all gonna come together. The millions of dollars that have been invested in this sport <laughs> finally is gonna pay off when I become less than shitty. <laughs> what kind of a fucking fruitcake aspires to be less than shitty. <laughs> the golfer, if they had any brains at all, would go to the course, um, get in the cart at the clubhouse and drive with the pals to the first tee, and then take a good long look at it. And then turn to each other and go, wow, that was a great day. <laughs> and then turn around and go back to the clubhouse where they really belong. But instead, the golfer, being the moron that he is, will get out of the cart and take the driver. That's the club that's used to hit the ball the furthest, and due to incredible technology, the driver head is now the size of an infant. <laughs> Even a monkey with a stick up its ass coming out its throat in its final death twitches could hit the ball with this. And then, then the golfer strides up and puts that ball on the tee and has their last real thought of the day. <laughs> Just remember to breathe through your ass. <laughs> and then they swing and 35 yards right in the fucking woods! <laughs> and then the game of golf becomes not someone hitting a ball, but the conversation that is taking place for the entire 18 holes inside the golfer's head. Because as soon as that ball flies into the woods, the next sound the golfer hears is the sound of his own voice in his head. I told you when you woke up this morning that you were a piece of shit. And you said, that's right, and I'm going to prove it to you once again. We're going to play golf. I said, why should we do that? It's always a painful experience. Why don't we just have a couple of beers and kick back and enjoy the day? So here we are, enjoying the day. In the woods. Isn't it nice? Look, there's some poison sumac. Why don't you grab a couple of leaves and wipe it on your nuts? We haven't had it there. Oh, 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 
only kidding. <laughs> wow, looks like the ball's lost. What did that cost? Five bucks? Boy, that was a buy. Five dollar ball. Because that's the ball the tiger uses. Well, did we learn a lesson today? You're not fucking tiger! Why don't you reach in the bag and get another one of those five dollar beauties? Maybe line up and try to hit into the other woods so maybe we can end up on the fairway for a change. Better yet, why don't you take that ball and just shove it up your ass? Then try to shoot it out your pee pee hole. If we'd spent the last 15 years doing that, at least you'd have a skill today. So fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. Because golf was a game designed for people who don't hate themselves enough in their daily lives. Don't ever let a golfer tell you that they care about nature. Every golf course pretty much is covered with enough chemicals you could destroy a village. <laughs> and every golfer in this room knows that the following is true. That they could hit a ball and it could end up behind the oldest and the most beautiful tree in North America. And their first thought would be, if I had a chainsaw, that prick could be down. <laughs>